When it comes to the national champion, who will win the college football playoff this year? For me, it's the Oklahoma Sooners. I think this is the year Oklahoma gets back on top. They won one of the Bob Stoops in 2000. This, to me, they will win a national title this year with Lincoln Riley. They have the quarterback to do so in Spencer Rattler. And more importantly, they have finally the defense that is good enough to not get on a college football stage and get embarrassed. And by Georgia, like we saw a few years ago, like LSU did a few years ago, and like uh, do, 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 oh, uh, Alabama did. Excuse me. Every time that as soon as I've been in the college football playoff last three times, it has been a very high-scoring game. That defense has been never able to slow any offense down. This year is different. See, this is the year the Sooners do get it done. They have the head coach. They have the quarterback. They finally have the defense to give themselves a shot here to slow down the likes of Alabama and Georgia and Ohio State and Clemson. They have a great receiving core, a vicious offensive line that could set the tone to block, to run. They have a defense line that can get after the quarterback. They have the trenches to match up with SEC teams. They have the skill talent that can match up with anyone. They have the head coach, to me, that can match up with anyone. This is the year for Oklahoma. They, to me, are going to win the national championship this year. I'm not even sure that's a hot take, just because they are a top four team. But I feel like anytime national title predictions get given out, it's Clemson, it's Alabama, it's Georgia, it's Ohio State. I don't think really anyone takes Oklahoma seriously until they win a college football playoff game, which they have not yet done in this era so far. I think this is the year. Oklahoma Sooners, write it down, will win the national title. Do you agree? Worldwide Sports Eric on Facebook, Twitter, WWSRN underscore radio, at Ryan Hickey Show on Twitter as well. You can tweet us, comment on the live stream. That's both on Twitter and Facebook right there. Who is winning the national title? Now, my four teams, again, I picked are the preseason top four team. But who can we get into the cultural playoff that is a surprise? To me, there are two teams. If it's not going to be Clemson or Alabama or Ohio State or uh, Oklahoma, if you have to pick, you know, if one of those teams is not going to make it, to me, there are two teams primed to make a move to make a surprise college football playoff push. One of them is Iowa State, currently seventh in the preseason AP poll. But to me, when you look at two Iowa State in the Big 12 Conference, if you're going to tell me one conference is going to have two playoff teams this year, I would pick the Big 12. The Big 12 has the best shot to send two teams to the college football playoff, and here's why. Iowa State, to me, is right there with Oklahoma. This is an extremely talented team. They had a few big wins, including beating Oklahoma last year. They went to the Big 12 title game, did lose to the Sooners. But this is a team that returns literally everyone on their team. 20 starters are coming back from last year to this year. Brees Hall, their running back, is a total stud. He's really set the tone last year. Brock Purdy is a veteran quarterback that, you know, I think he could be really solid. But the good news for Brock Purdy is it's not all on his shoulders. He's a, a very well-balanced team offensively, defensively, where really, he doesn't have to do a ton to help the Cyclones win games. The defense is active. They force turnovers. They're flying around. Iowa State, to me, is absolutely legit. And they have the schedule to do so. Now, the toughest part for them is they do go on the road this year to play Oklahoma. But if chaos does ensue, whether it's Alabama, whether it's Ohio State maybe losing a game or two, maybe it, it, it is Clemson in a weaker ACC, maybe they lose to Georgia and lose to someone else, and they're out of the playoff. If chaos does ensue, to me, Iowa State just has to beat Oklahoma once. They have, they have to take care of the rest of their schedule. They do have Iowa, which is an, a nice game at home early on in the season to get them a big top 25 win early on. But they, if they take care of, of business, you know, they beat Texas, Kansas State, Texas Tech, Baylor, TCU, they take care of the Big 12 schedule, and they split, whether it's they lose to Oklahoma in the regular season, beat them in the Big 12 title game, or vice versa. If there's chaos, I think Iowa State is in. To me, the Big 12 is the best shot of any conference, better than the SEC, because I don't trust Georgia still. I think their receiving core, um, while still talented, is not as good uh, with, the, with the loss of George Pickens. I have other questions about their defense as well, and I like JT Daniels, but to be Georgia, I got to see it to believe it. 